Before we move on to the next section, let me talk a little bit about colors in Cork Express. The, to select a color and to change the color of something in Cork, you're going to need to have open the Colors palette. and It's usually located at the lower right hand corner of your screen. But if you don't see it, you can always go to Window and choose the Colors palette from that drop down menu. Uh, for our case, I'm going to move it over so we can see it in the middle of our screen. Now the colors usually are uh, shown are the default colors of your printer, primarily black, cyan, magenta, white, and yellow. And registration is kind of a special color, but we won't go into that today. So let's say I was to create, I'm just going to create a regular box. Right now this box you can see is none. It has no color to it. In, in effect it's a null color. But if I wanted to change the color of this box, I can simply click on any color that's in this palette. So if I want it to be the cyan blue, I click on cyan, and you can see it turns to nice cyan shade of blue. Same way for any other color that I wanted to add. Cork also allows us to add our own colors by clicking on the little green plus sign to create a new one. And you can give your color a name, so let's call this one uh, green field. Really, you can name it anything you want. And on the uh, little editor picker, you can click and drag the dot around to find the exact color that you want. And as you see, when you move around, the C and Y, K values also change. So if you needed to type in a specific value, you can do that as well. Also, this color, uh, the slider along the left side, changes the intensity, how light or how dark your color is. Once you've picked the uh, desired color that you have in your little preview, you can hit OK. And you see that our new color, green field, has shown up in our color uh, box. So if I click on that, you can see it turns a nice shade of green that we cr uh, created. Additionally, you can adjust the shade of it, how light or dark it is, by typing in or adjusting the shade under your colors box. So if I wanted just a 50% shade of that, you can see now it's 50%, or I can go lower and it turns lighter. Basically, it'll turn the color of the page, or I can go higher with it. In addition to the shade, you can also adjust the opacity of your uh, color that you've created, and it will adjust the opacity of the entire box that you made. Now, right now, if I just adjusted the opacity, it would look a lot like the shade. So let me create another box on top of it. I'm going to go copy and paste and I'm going to change this one to blue. So now I've got a blue square on top of a green square. If I just adjusted the shade of it, you can see it'll make it a lot lighter or darker as I move along. But if I adjust the opacity, now watch what happens. You see that I've, you can start to see the green just behind the uh, blue box that's in front of it. And that's what the opacity change does from there. If you ever needed to edit a color, let's say I wanted to change the color of my green field, I can click on green field, and then you see there's a little um, pencil up there. I can double click on, or just click on that. It'll open this up, and I can adjust the color from here. So let's say I wanted to make it a little more yellow, yellowish orange. Once I hit OK, watch what happens. All instances of that color then change, not just the one I have selected. So if you wanted to quickly change the color of something and you had that color uh, saved and um, already in your system, it's simply a matter of changing the color and everything else will change within it. The final thing to know about colors are you don't just have to have a solid color, you can choose different gradations of a color. Gradation means go from one color and sl slightly shift into another color. Right now it's set to solid, but I can have different types of blends in, in uh, our gradation. Linear blend is the most common. And it will go from the color that you have selected to another color, in this case white. Notice there's also a 1 and a 2, and an angle has appeared on here. So color 1 is my green field. If I click on the 2, you can see color 2 is my white field. White is highlighted. But if I wanted it to be blue, now you see it goes from this orange to the blue. 
Additionally, it goes from left to right. But if I wanted to adjust the angle, right now it's at zero to say 90 degrees, and I hit return, you can see it now goes up and down. And I can really type in any angle, 45 degree angle, and you can see it'll go from corner to corner. And that's what the angle, the one, and the two do when you adjust that up. And that's what the different types of blends. Let's look at the mid-linear blend. Notice it'll go from the middle outward, so it looks like I have three different ones. There's also a rectilinear blend, and just uh, different types of circular and everything else types of blends that go along that. And that's the um, different types of colors and ways you can choose colors in Cork Express. Additionally, if you had text, you can highlight text and change the colors of those texts as well. Let me show you this real quick. I'm going to type in just some random letters. Of course, the default color for these is just black, but if I wanted to change it to my magenta, I can click highlight the text and click on the color. And now the color of my text has changed as well.